Let's learn how to create a sticky video slider in Divi. This right here is what our final result will look like. You could actually download the layout from today's tutorial for free by visiting the blog post linked in the video description. With that covered, let's load up one of our pre-made layouts. I'll be using the dietitian recipe page. For this example, we're going to add our sticky video slider to the left column. We're doing this because we want to keep the videos in view while the user scrolls to read the content in the right column. So first we need to take the modules that are here in the left column and move them over to the right side. Easy enough. Now we can go ahead and press the plus icon, scroll to the bottom and select video slider. This part's up to you, whether you want to use a YouTube video, an MP4, a WebM, it's up to you. For this example, we're just going to add a YouTube video. Now with our first video added, we're going to go ahead and duplicate it two more times. So in total, we'll have three videos. Now just go in for each of those and update the link or upload a new video. As you can see, we've added our three videos and now it's time to make our slider sticky. So from within the video slider settings, we're going to go to advanced scroll effects. Our first option is sticky position. Make sure that you hover over and select this icon so we can make changes for desktop, tablet, and phone. So for this option for desktop, we want it to stick to top. However, for tablet and phone, we want it to be do not stick. So just confirm that that's what it's set to. Our next option is sticky top offset. We want this to be 30 pixels for desktop. And again, press this icon so that we can view tablet, which we want to be set to zero. And phone, we also want it to be set to zero. Now I'll just scroll down a little more. And for bottom sticky limit, we want it to just be row. This will make sure the video slider will stick when it reaches the top of the browser while scrolling down the page. Then it will stop being sticky whenever it reaches the bottom of the row. Now I'll just save my changes and let's give it a shot. There we go. Perfect. Quick heads up, if you're using a YouTube URL to embed multiple videos in the video slider, it's best not to use this option show image overlays on main video. This will cause the video's audio to autoplay from the beginning in the sticky state, causing duplicate audio playing at different intervals. This is not the case, however, for self-hosted videos in MP4 or WebM file format. That said, don't worry, you can still add custom image overlays to your YouTube videos in the video slider. Let's see how to do that. From the video slider settings, we're gonna click the settings for one of our videos and here it is, overlay. We're going to add an image overlay. I have these in my media library, which I'll just add. As you can see, the thumbnails work and they look great. But again, because I'm using a YouTube embed, I'm not actually using the overlay feature for the main player. But if you're using MP4 or WebM, you would be able to do that. Don't forget, you can download this for free right now by clicking the blog post linked in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.